This week marks the inaugural Louisiana Craft Brewery Week. In honor of this new tradition, Lieutenant Governor Jay Darden unveiled the Louisiana Craft Brewery Trail, a suggested route for tourists to take if they want to sample the best local brews here in the state. Guess who's doing this story? This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson hit that trail to find one brewery creating a buzz with a new beer flavored with Louisiana honey. The warm color of the latest brew from Bayou Tesh beer is deceptively comforting because this beer has a sting. Meal Sauvage means wild honey in French. It's based on a French ale with 9% alcohol. So it's a real strong beer. It lasts a long time as well. They can keep it on the farm for a long time. Carlos Knott is the president of Bayou Tesh beer in Arnottville. His two brothers and he are like typical Cajuns, always thinking about food when they craft their beers, even making one specifically for crawfish season. However, they saw something missing from this line of taps. We really didn't have a beer that was like kind of that after dinner where you're sitting, if you're up north by a fireplace, you know, or over here, I guess, you know, with the family and friends after dinner, something you could just sip on, kind of like you would like an after dinner uh, digestif. As the name implies, Meal Sauvage is made with honey, and the honey in this brew comes from bees just a short flight away in the Atchafalaya Basin. And just like bees communicate to other workers where they found a good source of nectar, the owner of Bernard's Honey and Apiary, Steve Bernard, got the idea for this brew through the flavor of other Bayou Tesh beers. I've sampled their beers, enjoyed them thoroughly, and in my mind I'm thinking, I probably ought to contact these people and, and tell them, you need to do a honey beer. And about two weeks later, they called me and said, we're thinking about doing a honey beer. <laughs> we have so many bees in Louisiana, so many uh, apiaries. We decided we wanted to do something with honey, which ferments great. The, the yeast really love to eat the, the sugar and the honey. It's a perfect sugar. While the knots do put a lot of care and hard work into their meal sauvage, the real hard work starts right here at the apiary, where the bees go out, gather the nectar, and make the honey. Bernard says he gave the knots the same blend of honey he sells, which is a mixture of honey from willow, tallow, clover, and buckwheat vine flowers. A blend of honeys gives more different flavors that are going to surface in the end product when you're mixing it in such a beer or a sauce or something like that. The knots take another step to add flavor to this brew. They age it in barrels once used to store Jack Daniels whiskey. Have you sampled the beer yet? Yes, I have. The beer is absolutely delicious. Bernard is likely biased because it's his bees who add the flavor. University of Louisiana at Lafayette education professor Dr. Toby Daspit is used to grading the work of others. Brown color you're seeing really comes from the whiskey barrels, not so much the honey. Daspit also samples beers weekly at the Blue Dog Cafe in Lafayette. So how does Meal Sauvage compare to the pints he usually drinks? It's richer. Typically if I'm drinking the ambers, I, um, they're really easy to drink kind of quickly and this is not a beer that I would want to drink quickly. It's one I'd want to savor. He may have to savor the memory because the knots do not make much of their specialty beers. We just brew one batch of it, and when it's gone, you, you have to wait till next year to get some more. So if you want some, you probably need to look. And like a bee to a flower, when you find it, not promises a sweet experience. In Henderson, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Not says he and his brothers are already working on a new line of beers for the fall. One of them is a darker brew made using brown sugar milled right here in Louisiana. If you would like to learn more about Bayou Tesh Brewing or Bernard's Honey, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.